Concrete is the most consumed material after water and it is the most consumed man-made material in the world. In the last decade, especially in the last three years, sustainability awareness has grown exponentially and this has put the concrete industry in the spotlight to reduce its carbon dioxide emissions. The concrete industry is one of the major consumers of natural resources. Most of the CO2 emissions were from the production of cement. The high quantity of waste, which is generated during the construction and also during the demolition of concrete structures, creates more burden on the environment. JSW Group started off as a steel company uh, in the early 80s as a processing unit and went, ventured into manufacturing of steel in the early 90s. Since then, uh, you know, the group has forayed into energy by putting thermal power plants, hydro power plants and then in 2008 it got into uh, cement making. So for the cement industry, it is very important to run a business which will thrive and sustain in the long run with a positive change on environment and society. JSW Cement is an environmentally conscious and responsible organization and we believe in creating a long-term value for our stakeholders, not just the economic value, but giving back to the society and environment. Our stakeholders are important element of business and a sustainable business strategy helps us to gain their trust and long-term value addition to the organization. Additionally, a sustainable approach to business makes us prepared for the future risk and opportunities in all aspects. In other words, it is making our long-term growth sustainable and bringing about change in the way industries operate today. We are a part of GCCA, which is a Global Cement and Concrete Association and uh, JSW Cement is the chair for GCCA the, for the India chapter. There are different industries which are involved in this entire conversion, hence we end up working very closely with government, uh, non-government institutions, we work with academia and try and convince them about what is good, what are the steps that we should take across the entire chain, which will actually end up helping reduce the overall CO2 footprint uh, across the entire construction value chain. I start my day discussing with my leadership team for the plant safety, housekeeping, plant reliability, dispatches, and raw material availability, and waste utilizations. During the day, I discuss brainstorming sessions, how to optimize cost and waste utilizations so it helps to the society and industry. The very reason for starting JSW Cement is based on the philosophy of circular economy. Cement is an energy and resource intensive industry. You need a limestone as a primary raw material and you need coal as a primary fuel. By adopting the principle of circular economy, we in a way conserve this important or I would say precious resources by the way of using slag and fly ash. Two-third of total raw material consumption is coming from the waste derived resources. Similarly, on the fuel side, we are replacing almost 10% of our requirement with the use of industrial waste or biomass waste or RDF or plastic waste. So this way, we are in a way conserving the coal as well as limestone. We have contemplated a holistic and sustainable approach to cater the needs of the community and that too it has been developed through participatory approach at all levels. If you see livelihoods, we majorly focused on women empowerment economically, for which we have started providing the training to the women. And if you see education, we have started digitalizing the classrooms. The students able to understand the hard and core concepts in an easy way and they are giving their best in the examinations and we have supporting the students with the scholarships. The poor students whose parents are unable to offer them for their education, now they are getting the scholarship from JSW. If you see 
rural development we have been developing these roads drains and we have put up solar street lights through which the mobility at nights has become very easy regarding sanitation we have constructed 700 household toilets now it has been announced and practically we can see that it has been open defecation free villages what was 10 years ago is not now and what is now is going to be completely different you know a decade later and very difficult to predict what happens but there are so many new technologies which are being worked upon and are in different stages of development in different parts of the world ESG has really taken over and there are a slew of startups that are working on how to make cement a much greener technology so the onus is really now on technology to be developed to bring down the carbon dioxide footprint of the cement industry. All these things are being worked upon at the JSW Group, being worked upon at JSW Cement and I'm very confident that within the next few years we'll be able to make significant progress in reducing the carbon footprint of JSW Cement.